LG G7 Thin Q is a premium phone aimed to go against Samsung's Galaxy S9. And while it has a lot of things going for it, it doesn't have quite enough to beat out its competitor or justify its higher price. As part of LG's Thin Q line of quote unquote smart devices, the G7's camera has some artificial intelligence features. The camera can identify more than a thousand objects and images, then group these things into 18 different categories, like a person, a flower, or food. It'll then auto-adjust the camera settings accordingly and suggest filters. Pictures can look more vibrant with these AI adjustments since the contrast is cranked higher. It also helped with overexposure and lighting. But overall, I found myself skipping over the feature. It can be distracting, and while the novelty is fun at first, the G7's algorithms need to be more accurate and work faster. LG retained the secondary wide-angle camera too, bumping the specs from 13 megapixels to 16. You can also take portrait photos from both cameras with the tap of a button. Below the volume rocker is a button to launch Google Assistant. When does the World Cup start? 2018 World Cup begins on Thursday, June 14, 2018. Double press the key and it could run an image search with Google Lens. Though this gives you quick access to Google's handy digital assistant, you can't reprogram the button, at least for now, which is kind of a drag. The phone is also still waterproof, has wireless charging, and has a headphone jack. LG added a brand new notch as well, which you could change the color of the bars next to it or hide it altogether. At the same time, however, the LG G7 doesn't have much of an X factor that sets it apart from its competitors. While it's great that the phone is water resistant, the design feels very familiar at this point, and it just doesn't look as sleek as the S9. In addition, its battery life is unimpressive. During our battery drain test for continuous video playback, the phone lasted 12 and a half hours. The G6 from 2017 lasted a whole hour longer than that, and the Galaxy S9 clocked in nearly 15 and a half hours. On top of that, the G7 is more expensive than LG flagships of years past, about $80 to $100 more depending on the carrier. Sure, it has more internal memory than before, but that's still a notable amount of money to ask of users for something not super compelling, despite being an all-around great phone. But that's the curse of LG. Even though the G7 is a solid and reliable phone, its underwhelming AI experience and average battery life can't push it to the top of the ranks.